Hello everyone, this is Puka, and on behalf of everyone here at the Top Cut, I just want to wish you and the rest of your family a happy Thanksgiving. Hopefully you have something planned for the day. You know, get a good meal in, uh, just enjoy time with the ones you love. Or even if you don't, just relax, take the day off, do whatever you feel like, play some video games, play some Pokemon maybe. Uh, whatever you want to do, Thanksgiving is a day where you can just relax and just kind of be thankful for what you have. So, uh, I'm just making a video with a silly deck today to commemorate the occasion. Uh, it's nothing special, but I thought I would just do it to, you know, get a video out here today. Um, maybe it'll be a little entertaining, and we'll see what happens. So, uh, let's switch over to the deck that I made for Thanksgiving, which is pretty much just a bunch of birds. Since Thanksgiving, we traditionally eat turkey. Figured I would just make a deck filled with nothing but birds. Um, ho -Oh is going to be kind of the poster boy for the deck. Kind of looks like a turkey. So he's going to be the focus of this deck. It's going to bring everyone together. Uh, he is kind of the main course of the deck. You know, we all know what ho -Oh does at this point. Got the nice rebirth ability. Rainbow burn and all that good stuff. Very festive looking Pokemon. So that's going to be the heart of the deck. Uh, and then the rest of them are just kind of birds. I kind of like to think of them as a family. You know, they all have their different roles at the dinner table. You got Moltres here. It's kind of the the heated one who brings up conversation that you probably don't want to be talking about. You know, he like brings up politics or stuff like that. Gets everybody all riled up. Uh, he's a really fiery speaker. So that's Moltres, the guy who always talks about politics. Might make you a little uncomfortable, but he's just speaking his mind. Maybe had a little bit too much to drink. Who knows? Uh, Articuno is going to be like the cold one who like doesn't really respond to you very much. Uh, maybe the the shy person in the family, just kind of there, not really doing anything. Um, you know, you try to get a conversation with them, and it's kind of like, yeah, cool, yeah, um, life's been all right, whatever. Uh, that's that's Articuno. Uh, Zapdos, kind of the life of the party. You know, it's electric, got all this energy, uh, he's gonna make everybody laugh, gonna be the one making everybody have a good time, Zapdos for ya. He's always kind of been the best legendary bird, gonna take some flack for that one, but I'm just gonna go out and say it, Zapdos is the best of the original three legendary birds, he's just the coolest. Then we have uh, Sigilyph, who is kind of the weird one, doesn't really fit in with the rest of the family, but he's there. Kind of the weird uncle or something like that. Uh, he, he doesn't quite look right. Doesn't quite act right. But, you know, he's family, so he's got to be there. Uh, then we have Honchkrow, who's... You know, it's the big boss Pokemon, so this is kind of like the father figure of this deck. Uh, he's just kind of... He's there to keep everybody in line. Uh, he's there to bring everyone together. He's just the one in charge. That's all there is to it. Uh, then we have Skarmory, who's... Kind of a real defensive person, you know, you, you start asking him stuff and he gets all up in your face, tries to just get really defensive, you know. He, he, it's, a, it's a metal Pokemon, so he just doesn't want to let his defenses down. I don't know, I couldn't find anything for this one, but he's a bird, so he's here. <laughs> uh, we have Chatot, kind of the annoying little kid who just mimics everything you say, kind of uh, mocks you. Pretty much just repeats everything you say in an attempt to annoy you, so there's chat out for you. And then we have Farfetch'd, who's kind of the cook. You know, you got the leek thing in his hand. Um, so yeah, he's gonna cook the meal, get everything ready for you, and we're gonna make sure we have a good time. So that's it for the Pokemon. The, uh, the trainers are nothing too special. Take a look at those. You know, you got Computer Surge, Energy Surge, Energy Switch, um, take a look at that, yeah, see Computer Surge. You know, you gotta have a computer. Someone at some point is gonna go on their, you know, their iPhone or their computer, start looking up stuff because they're bored. Uh, catcher doesn't really have any symbolic meaning. It's just a good card. <laughs> uh, you know, switch, ultra ball, just normal stuff. You know, you got supporters too. Nothing too crazy. Um, but we do have giant cape because you know everything's a bird. I figure might as well give it a cape. You know, it's gonna fly, right? Um, so yeah, everything looks cooler with a cape. So we got some giant capes too. And then just the energy, you know, fire, water, lightning, psychic, dark. 
Uh, I got five different types. I got five different energy. Works out with Ho Oh and then the double colorless. Works as well. So we got our big happy family here. The Ho Oh family. Uh, we're going to have a, a nice meal tonight. And uh, I did play a game with this. It was not a very good game. I tried about five different times to get a good game with this deck. Just did not work. So this is the most entertaining one I have. So enjoy. Alright. This game's going to be against someone named Crozum. Kroz I can't really tell. Um, but I start with Chatout and Farfetched. I decided to start with Chatout because, uh, as many of you might know, Chatout is one of my favorite Pokemon. I used him frequently when there was a good one out with the Mimic attack. So I decided to lead off with him. Now, my opponent starts with a Victini. I got Chatout out here. Um... I could attach, but I'm going for the double colorless, and I got it. So there we go. I'm going to attach to my chat out, and I'll just peck for 30. I'm going to get really aggressive with this chat out. He's uh, just taking it to my opponent, and right there we see a Drifloon and a Vulpix. Okay, that's not even in the format, but it's Thanksgiving, so I'll let it slide. Uh, he just attaches to Victini and passes. Kind of a strange move, considering that you're going to get knocked out by a peck. Okay, so I decided to Ultra Ball. Uh, at this point, I'm pretty much just thinking it doesn't matter what I do. My opponent has Drifloon and Vulpix out there. And turn two, we peck that Victini for a knockout. I decided to grab Articuno, because whatever. He's got fire Pokemon, so might as well just take Articuno. I don't know. I could have taken anything, honestly. There's a Cyndaquil, a Fisherman. So this guy just is probably mixed some cards with his basic red deck. I don't really know. Um, so I draw a ho -Oh. Not really going to do much for me. Um, still pecking away with that chat out. Still pecking away. Uh, he hits me for 30 with Ember, which is kind of annoying, but that's alright. I'm going to Ultra Ball away a ho -Oh just to get that in the discard pile. Uh, and Moltres as well. Basically just going to play some cards out, get whatever I feel like, and uh, put it all out there. Uh, we got Farfetch'd out there to try to cook the meal. We got Murkrow. And once he evolves into Honchkrow, we'll be all good. Uh, we got another... All right, we can, we just knocked out two Pokemon with a Chatot. Okay. <laughs> I'm pecking away with Chatot. That's, that's actually happening here. A giant cape on a Chatot. And uh, at this point, I'm committed to my strategy, and that is to peck for all of my prizes. If I can do that... Um, I'm going to be very happy, and uh, this is going to be one stupid video, but uh, that's what's going to happen here. Peck, third knockout for Chatot. He's going on a rampage. All that's left is Drifloon at this point, and it's got 60 hit points, so that's a two-hit knockout. I'm not playing the end because I don't want to give my opponent a new hand. We got a Peck. Can Chatot take down four victims on Thanksgiving and bring the family together? And the answer is yes. Chat out. Four prizes with Peck. You're never going to see this ever again. Chat out MVP. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope this was a little entertaining. And again, happy Thanksgiving. Hope you enjoy the holiday. And uh, we'll see you guys shortly with some more videos soon. Thanks, guys.